They're all called stable, but some are anything but. Let me show you why. Welcome to Stronghold 101, where we break down what really matters in payments. We've been building stablecoin infrastructure for years. The truth is there are four completely different types of stablecoins, but only some actually deserve the name. First, fiat-backed stablecoins. These are the straightforward ones. One dollar in a bank, one coin issued. USDC, USDT, PYUSD. Boring, but reliable. Uh, the catch is you're trusting the companies holding those dollars. Second, crypto-backed stablecoins. These use other cryptocurrencies as collateral. You lock up $150 of Bitcoin to borrow $100 in stablecoins. MakerDAO pioneered this model. The risk is that crypto crashes can break the dollar peg. Third, commodity-backed stablecoins. These are backed by gold, silver, or other real assets. Each coin represents ownership of actual commodities. PAX gold, tether gold, one token equals one ounce of gold. The challenge is someone has to pay for vaults and auditors. Fourth, algorithmic stablecoins. Not backed at all, just algorithms controlling supply. The supply expands and contracts based on demand. Remember Terra Luna? That's what happens when algorithms fail. How do you evaluate them? With fiat backed, check the audits. With crypto backed, well, watch those collateral ratios. Commodity backed needs vault verification. An algorithmic? Understand the risks before you touch them. Stable means different things to different coins. Not all stability is created equal. Share this with someone who needs to know the difference.